welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello welcome my name is katie and welcome to my channel i do some harry potter related videos and some work related videos so feel free to check out my channel and if you like what you see then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bells as well so you'll be notified every time i upload a video so today is all about the december uh, geek gear wizardry box it's just the wizardry box this month i didn't get the one subscription um so yeah it's just the wizardry box this month so if you'd like to see what is in this december box then let's keep on watching so as i said this is the december box obviously last month was the christmas box which i was about 50 50 on some of the things i liked but some things i didn't but let's hope that geek gear um uh, hope, let's just hope this box is better so I'm going to let you guys have the sneak peek actually there was I think I did see the hints this month there was one that just said like it was just a door that said headmaster's office on um, I think there was one that was like sweets and they looked like sherbet lemon sweets um, and the third one put the images of each hint in around here <laughs> um so yeah let's give you guys the sneaky peeky if i can open the box right are you ready so what have we got what's the t-shirt standard t-shirt on top love the geek gear t-shirts they're so comfy and i always get them i get them in the unisex XL because I like mine a bit baggier. Ooh, this one looks good. So we have Dumbledore's office on the t-shirt. They seem to be doing quite a few of these kind of t-shirts where it's like a window like into like Hogwarts and yeah so it's an uh, insight into Dumbledore's office. So what have we got? Obviously his desk, um, got the pen, is it the pencil over here, um, lovely colours as well, again, so I'm really liking this t-shirt, definitely going to wear this, so yeah, I love all the t-shirts I've had so far, and I only resubscribed back in September, so yeah, t-shirt, love it. So let's have a look, oh so we've, <laughs> we've actually got a wand in this box. Um, that doesn't normally happen very often in the wizardry box. So let's go for that one first. We've got a wand card. Um, it might be in the box. Let's have a look. So as you know, Geek Gear does own unique ones. And I usually obviously get the subscription, but I didn't this month. So ooh. This one looks so posh. So let's get it out of the bubble wrap. So we have a wand. So this top bit, it reminds me of like, um, you know, like old school like crowns that like queen, queens wear. And it's got like the little like, red bit in the middle. Um, yeah, it looks like that. That's what it reminds me of. So, yeah, and then we've just got, it's got like little pokey out bits, well not pokey out, but like bits that like you'd see on like, what are they called, the, is it a scepter, like around like the jewel kind of bits, that's what it reminds me of. And then you've got this nice silver ribbon, like wrapping around like the main part of the wand, and then it's got this like green jewelry bit very posh I reckon it's like a royal type of wand or something but yeah it feels quite nice to hold the, I think the bottom bit for me is a bit chunky but um, comparing it to my custom one from Wheeler's One Shop this one isn't as chunky but um, it feels nice to hold but yeah I think this bottom bit for me um, it feels a bit like 
I can't get comfortable holding it. So, <laughs> but it is a lovely looking one. It's definitely for someone who's like in the royal family or posh or I don't know. But yeah, that's a surprise to get the uh, a wand actually in the box. Um, right, so I see a pink box with lemons on. This is giving me like honey jukes vibes. So we have oh, it's one of them shop signs. So I think it was in the either the October or the Toil and Trouble limited edition Halloween box. We got a pumpkin pasties one of these shop signs and so this one is a sherbet lemons one which is really cool so when I eventually get my shelves I've got a couple of shop signs to go on so yeah and they're really cool we can have them like just like lent up like against the wall or we can have them stood up open like that so yeah that's another excuse me another lovely uh, replica from Geek Gear like you don't think of these kind of things like in the wisdom world so yeah so we have a chess piece I haven't got all the chess pieces so I've only got a select few from when I used to have the boxes so this one is I think I know what this one is it's the um the, queen. the reason why I know this one's the Queen is because this is the one where Ron tells Harry that he's got to do a certain move and then he goes, um, he, something about doing the move and he goes, and then the Queen will take me. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely the Queen. So yeah, again, obviously it's got like shield on the back. Um, but yeah, that'll go well on if I get to have like a Philosopher's Stone shelf or something like that. So, um, yeah. Right, so we have a little box here and the charm. And, oh, some other bits. I'll go for the charm first because it's a small, not the smallest item in the box. Maybe charm we have is this very teeny tiny flying key you can see that um, yeah very 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 cute yeah it would have been nice if they if they were able to because it's so small if they could have like etched some like feathers like markings into like this side because it's a bit plain, but that's just me nitpicking. Um, so yeah, that is the monthly charm. So let's just put that there. So we have, oh, we have another pin badge. And we all know I like pins. <laughs> so let's have a look at this one. So this one, I think, from what I remember, I think this is the black, is it the black family crest? I think it is. Um, yeah, I haven't seen anything like this before, so it's quite a big pin as well. So and it's got the two, two clasps on the back for this one, because it's quite big. So um, yeah, love a pin. So I love that. So, oh, scratch card. Let's see, let's see how I go on. I haven't got anything to scratch with, have I? Dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, no win. Better luck next time. Right, so this box is very intriguing. Let's have a look at what's inside. Because as we know, good things come in small packages. And Geek Gear have been doing amazing with their replicas recently. So let's have a look. Try not to look at the box. Oh my god. So this is a picture of Slughorn's, Slughorn's Hourglass. So if this is a mini replica of the Hourglass, 
I'm going to flip <laughs> because the actual one you can get from Noble Collection is like I think 180 to 200 pounds and I could I don't think I could do it because obviously I have a four year old that would probably knock it over or something but that's why I like these mini replicas that Geek Gear do because they'll fit perfectly on my shelf so let's have a look oh my god it is wow look at that and it's a proper like working hourglass how amazing is that it's got the full details on this wow full on like working and everything it feels amazing like the snakes I know I'm not a slivering or anything but this this is amazing this is gonna look so good on display and it's such a decent like size for a mini replica so yeah oh, that's, that's the highlight of the box I think <laughs> so yeah definitely amazing you have pulled it out of the bag geek gear well done <laughs> there's a print at the bottom oh and there's the wand card let's just have a quick look at the wand card so it's the re regalia wand length 13 and 3 quarter inches core ruby dust and wood ebony so yeah it was kind of like that it's like a like royal regal posh wand so yeah so that's the wand card so yeah i was right with that <laughs> so last but not least we have a official geek gear exclusive print so we have the lovely uh, luna lovegood everyone loves luna she's a legend so yeah there she is with us that just specs on and a quibbler yeah i don't know if i display it though i don't um, at the moment, the only character portraits that I want to display are the ones I've got of Bellatrix the Strange. I've got the um, Mina Lima Wanted poster that needs a frame that's going to go on the wall. And I also got some art prints from Tony Blake, which is one of Bellatrix and one of Forks. So I want them to go up on the wall as well. So I don't know if this is going to be displayed, but I love Luna, so I'll always keep it. So it yeah. looks like we haven't got a spoiler card to go through anything to double like I wanted to double check the pin for example. Um so yeah, that is December's Geek Gear. What did you think? I personally think they have outdone themselves this month. Uh everything I liked, maybe my least favourite might be the print, only purely because I'm not gonna probably display it. But other than that, everything else was like much better than last month. So really, really enjoyed this box. So favourites, I think it definitely, I think most people that get this box will probably say the hourglass is their favourite this month. It's such an amazing mini replica. Just look at that. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, definitely that is my first favourite. Closely followed by the t-shirt. I really, I'm really liking the t-shirts. So yeah, that'll be second, and then I'll probably say the pin, just because I love pins. And if I am right, and it's of the black family crest, family crest, then obviously I love serious black. So <laughs> yeah. So that was the end of this video. Um, what did you think of the box? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Let's have a little chat. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. If you did like, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like. It would really, really mean a lot to me. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I shall speak to you in my next video. Bye, guys.